Hey guys, Retired at 40 here. My wife and I found a new tool to go in our kitchen arsenal and it's an instant pot. And we really like to put ricotta cheese on lots of stuff and we got tired of buying it in the store so we just decided to make it. So we bought this instant pot here and it makes ricotta cheese and many other things really easy. So the only thing you need to make ricotta is four cups of milk. We use whole milk. And the first thing you do is just pour it right in the instant pot. Okay, once your milk is in, just put your lid on. <laughs> okay, and make sure it's got a good seal. And then you just hit the yogurt button until it hits boil. And you'll do one whole cycle through the Instant Pot and then you'll double check to make sure it's 180 degrees when it goes through that whole cycle. Alright, so our timer just went off. It looked like it looks like it went through a whole cycle. It usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes. If you're looking for 180 degrees. Ours wasn't at 180 degrees, so if it's not at 180 degrees, just run it through a quick cycle again, put your top back on, and just give it another five minutes or so, and then you can check the temperature again after your five minutes is up. And if it's not at that point, you just keep doing that until you get up to 180 degrees. All right, so ours is usually taking about one and a half to two cycles on average. Next thing you want to do is just pull this inside pot out. And then two tablespoons of regular old white distilled vinegar. and then give it a real good stir. Make sure you don't skip the stirring part or it won't turn out right. And you can see already that it's starting to curdle up. So once you give this a good stir, you want to let it sit for about 10 minutes. All right, so this has been resting for about 10 minutes. You can see it's a little bit curled, curdled up. So just take a bowl, a strainer, put the strainer on the bowl, and then take a towel, or you could use a cheesecloth or something similar to that. Put it down in here. Just pour all this stuff right through there. And that towel will just let the, the whey go down to the bottom and the cheese will stay on the top. And then you can actually take the whey that's on the bottom. Um, you can use it for smoothies, you can use it for cooking, you can use it for bread, uh, all kinds of different stuff. All right, so now this is drained out. All your liquids go to the bottom, and you're just left with the ricotta cheese. Just throw this in a bowl. And there you go. And all of your whey has gone to the bottom. You can save it. We use it for cooking. Um, or you can just throw it away. Alright, so there you go. You got about a cup and a half of ricotta cheese out of four cups of milk. We like to throw this on pizzas, or you can use it for lasagna or Italian dishes. Uh, this is Retired at 40 signing off. Remember to live life simple, and we'll catch you next time. Alright, once you have your milk in, put your lid on. Make sure that's good and... And I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs>